Good morning, everyone. This is Miss Jones. I'm here to give you day two of virtual learning. This week, we're focused on the oi, oi sound, like ahoy there. Remember, if a word has this sound at the end or in the final syllable, you're going to use the O-Y pattern. This is like in boy, toy, or royal. If the sound oi is in the beginning or middle syllable, you're going to use the pattern O-I, like in voice, choice, join. Let's practice together. Ready? Oi, n, k, oink, s, p, oi, u, spoil, b, oi, boy, p, oi, n, t, point. Great job. Let's do a few more. We're going to try just the O-Y sound. K. Ooh. K. Oi. Koi. P. O. Oi. Ploy. J. Oi. Joy. Now let's practice the Oi sound using the pattern O-I. Mmm. Oi. Moist, b, oi, o, boil, j, oi, n, join. Now I want you to set a timer and see if you can read all these words in one minute. I'll give you some time. You can pause this and try on your own. Now, on a sheet of paper, try and complete this sheet. You are going to use the words in the box to complete each sentence, each sentence and write the word on the line. Let's look at the words. Enjoys. Boil. Roy. Toy. Point. And coin. Do numbers one through six. If you can, have your parents send me a picture on Class Dojo so I can see if you are doing your work. Here's our high frequency words or those words we have to practice. Our words are above, as in I see the stars above me. Build, they will build something. Fall. The rain is going to fall. New. We knew how to fix it. Money. I save my money in a bank. Toward. Oh no. <laughs> they are walking toward the bus. Practice reading, writing, and using those words in a sentence with a partner at home. Now this is a review, friends. Remember our inflectional endings, Ed? Ed makes three sounds, and he travels in the past. So if he's on the back end of a word, make sure you remember that means he's in the past. An action word with the ending ing means that action's happening right now. Let's practice together. Our first word is Jumping. We're going to circle the root word and underline the ending that we added. In jumping, my root word is jump. And the ending that we added is ing. That means that you are jumping right now. The action is taking place right now. Let's look at our next word. Our next word is packed. My root word is pack. And the ending that's on the word is 
ed, ed. That means that it's in the past. That's right. Good job. Our next word is pointing. My root word is point, and the ending is ing. This means that I am pointing with my cursor right now. The next word is cleaned. Our root word is clean, and our ending is ed. It already happens. Our last one to practice is joined. Our root word is join, and our ending is ed. That means that you've already joined. It's already happened. Now, friends, this is also a review. We're doing cause and effect. Cause means it's this uh, makes something happen in the story. And the effect is what happens after. So the cause could be my shoe is untied. And what would the effect be? Uh-oh, I would trip and fall. Well, I hope you have a happy Tuesday. Make sure to do your homework and take your time. Read for 20 minutes tonight and think of those causes and effects that are happening in your story. Talk to you tomorrow. That's my kitty cat, and there I am. We miss you very much. Have a good one.